I'm the headmistress and founder of Kitty Bungalow Charm School for Wayward Cats. What we really do at the bungalow is take cats from his to home. In three words, the best part of running the organization is progress, people, and pussies. So Kitty Bungalow Charm School for Wayward Cats is the only 100% feral cat socialization facility in the entire US. We focus in on feral stray street cats and we provide services in all aspects of that from trap new to return to make sure that we're ending the overpopulation problem to the socialization of these feral kittens so that they turn into loving lap cats. I get asked a lot, what is a normal day like for you at Kitty Bungalow? And um, I answer always the same. It's chaos. Just, it, normal is chaos. We have lesson plans at the organization because we're a proper school and this is one of the lesson plans called the Twitch. And one of the cats in this room, you can see super friendly cats. We have one kitten that's still a little more shy. I went to pick him up and he ran into here. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. Hi there. Hi. And the whole thing to think about with this is that this is the mama's tongue because they won't give you areas of the body that they are afraid to give over. So when we prove to them that you can give me your paw mm -hmm. and I can hold it and you get it back. Now he's going through all of them right now so you can see the twitch. I know, I know buddy. I used to be an entertainment producer and I actually was partially paralyzed for about six months and guess what, it's life changing. When I had my surgery and, and pain went away and I was able to live a full life again, I went back to an interview at a very big uh, television network and I was sitting there with them and having this great interview and I suddenly went, no, thank, thank you, thank you for your time, I really appreciate this, but I think I'm gonna pass. And I just realized that I needed to make more of a difference in the world. There was an overpopulation of cats in the neighborhood that I lived in. The city of Los Angeles was killing about 75% of the cats that went into the shelter, which is a crazy amount of cats. And I didn't look at it like, oh, I love cats, I wanna rescue cats. I looked at it, oh, there's a problem in my city and I think I can help solve it. And that's how this really started. And now, eight years later, uh, I've, I've tamed and socialized over 1,700 cats. And we've fixed probably, gosh, um, close to 7,000. And it's not enough. It's funny to think, right, that these were like dumpster cats living on garbage and that they at are at all picky <laughs> on anything. You're like, dude. Yeah. We do a lot of hand feeding here as well because you guys all know they don't bite the hand that feeds you. We developed our own sort of system and um, we really take a psychological approach to that. And for me, that changed everything. Hi. The first feral cat, I really thought that the cat was going to jump on me and debowel me. Like, just, you know, rip open my belly and eat an intestine and run away. Um, but what I realized is that the cats weren't at all aggressive. They're anxious. I'm not Dr. Doolittle. I don't speak to them. But I try and understand where they're, they're coming from. There is no feeling like seeing a cat change and grow and become a super adoptable social cat. And then you can kind of see their age, gender, 
the staff can log into like their medical history. Um, this is the Southern California way of swaddling a cat, which is to take a cat that might uh, potentially scratch a volunteer and actually place them in a swaddle, kind of like a baby. We call it a burrito. And then this would be an opportunity to um, use some churu or some sort of treat to be able to handle the cat until they're ready to be picked up without the burrito or the blanket. This is Ponderosa. She's being socialized right now. Um, having trouble getting used to people, so we're trying to just force her. <laughs> just, just get her in there, get her used to being being around people more. She does well with cats, but not so well with people, so. No rubbing the eyes, Patty. He has ulcers um, from herpes virus, mm. um, which is really common, and um, it hurts, you know? It's just like if you scratch your cornea, it's, it hurts, it hurts when the air hits it. I couldn't imagine that there were people that are still buying cats out there. I just find that crazy. So don't buy cats. There are awesome, fabulous, adoptable cats at all of your local rescues and shelters, and go get a couple. <laughs>